Okay, hi, good day. This is Teacher Bernard, and today we're going to continue our lesson about capacity and volume. Again, capacity and volume. Okay, but before we continue our lesson about capacity and volume, we will review about for, uh, we will review about the instruments for measuring volume. Okay? Okay, wait a minute. Okay, now, here are the four instruments that we can use to measure volume. Okay? This is, or these are the measuring spoons. Okay? We have 1 ml or 1 gram, 2.5 grams. 5 grams, 7.5 grams, and 15 grams, okay? Next, we have measuring cylinders, okay? We have measuring cylinders. We can go up to 2 liters, and this one, I think, is the biggest, okay? The biggest measuring cylinder. Okay, next. Here are the beakers, okay? We have small, medium, and big beakers okay next uh, and we have these measuring cups okay now let's go back to our student book okay here we are again with our student book okay let's move to the next page okay comparing capacities and volume okay in this page, we will compare the, cap the capacity and the volume. The word volume and capacity also, okay? As we can see, the fish bowl can hold more water than the vase. We can say that the fish bowl has a larger capacity than the vase, okay? As we can see, this is the vase and this is the fish bowl, okay? If we put all of the water from the base to the fish bowl, the fish bowl is not full. So the fish bowl has a larger capacity. The fish bowl has a larger capacity than the vase. And the vase has a smaller capacity than the fish bowl. Because earlier, if we fill up the vase of water and put everything in the fishbowl the fishbowl is not yet full okay okay another example is this the amount of water or liquid in a container is called volume okay all the water in the tank filled up six cups of water this tank is full of water so if we put into the cups, we should fill up six cups of water, okay? The volume of water in the tank is six cups of water. The capacity of the tank is also six cups of water, okay? So if we fill all of the cups of water, it can fill up the the tank okay and as you can see here the volume of water in the tank is now three cups of water in here there's only three cups of water if we put all the water from the from these three cups into the into the tank the capacity of the tank is still six cups of water but the water is not filled okay only half of the tank is filled okay now here are some keywords that we need to remember okay this is the first word that we need to remember everybody say volume again volume volume volume, volume. okay inside that means Pariman. again volume volume, volume. And inside it is Pariman. Pariman. Okay. 
Okay, the next word that we need to remember is this. Capacity. Capacity. Again, capacity. 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 And in Thai, it means? Hanju. 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 Okay, that's it for our lesson for today about volume and capacity.